this video over the weekend that went super viral, that has so many people up in arms everywhere, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, that allegedly shows members of the LGBTQIA community chanting, we're here, we're queer, and we're coming for your children. That video has since been, the original video has since been taken down because, well, as you will listen in, listen with your ears instead of just watching and accepting what the narrative was that was given. As you listen, you will hear two distinct different things being said. And the one that got everything viral, the one, the accusation that made this video go viral. If you listen closely, it's being said by the man holding the camera, not the people in the audience. Again, that video has tens of millions of views all across social media. And if you listen again, you will hear two distinct messages. The one that is being chanted by the people in the audience, which is we're here, we're queer, and we're not going shopping. Now, initially, I had no idea what that even means. Like, what, what, is, what does we're not, why is that a chant? We're not going shopping. And just after a few minutes of searching, it, it seems that that is a chant that has been around in the LGBTQ community at least as far back as 1996. I see a, a paper that was written to study the viability of the LGBTQ community as a market. And so this is a rejection of the idea that they're here simply to be marketed to so that they can become consumers. It's a rejection of that notion, which really now makes a lot of sense when you consider the pride parade has become nothing. I can't say nothing, but but it has overwhelmingly become a display of capitalism and consumerism. So we're here, we're queer, we're not going shopping is a rejection of that entire idea. OK, I've been educated a little bit more. I, I learned more today than I knew yesterday, but I want you to listen again. There's actually only two voices out of all of those voices that are saying we're coming for your children. If you saw the original video, you can identify the one woman who was wearing a black dress or a black outfit who was intentionally screaming and pointing her voice towards the camera saying we're coming for your children. And then the second voice is the man behind the camera who is saying we're coming for your children. Please listen again. And again, that video has had tens of millions of views across all social media platforms, and it is being used, weaponized to create even more hate towards the LGBTQ community. As a map in the context of propaganda, I would tell you this is probably one of I don't care how sickening it is. It is very sickening. But this has been one of the most effective tools that these devils have used so far. Because a lie travels around the world before the truth gets out of bed. You know that old saying. And so while Snopes has, has peeped it and said that it's false, and there's a couple of articles that are out there that's saying it's false, and there's even the, one of the guys, the original people who got it viral on TikTok, they took that video and shared it on TikTok. He put out a video taking it down, saying that he was wrong. The truth, the correction, has not nearly gotten a fraction of the attention and traction that the lie got. Listen to this mashup. This is a stitched video from TikTok of one of the original people who posted it um, replying to someone who helped him understand that he was wrong. Listen in. Oh. And this person asks very rudely, why would they be saying shopping? Get your head out of your... But that's what they are saying. They're not saying that they're coming for our children. Egg on my face. First of all, I think the question that any actually critically thinking person would ask themselves is, why would they be shouting, we're coming for your children, if this is some devious plot to get your children? And there it is. I can admit that not all my neurons were firing when I made the original video. I got called out for it, and rightly so. I've got to do the right thing and uh, delete that video. And I owe a colossal, huge apology. 
from the bottom of my guts, I, I apologize. And I will definitely apply more critical thinking the next time that I make a video like that, if ever. You know, I appreciate his willingness to admit that he was wrong when he posted the original video. And I'm not sure if he was the guy who filmed it or if he captured it from somewhere else on the Internet and shared it. I, it's, it's hard for me to tell because I don't recognize his voice, that accent that he has. I didn't hear that accent in the video. But then again, my ears could be deceiving me. That's besides the point. Whoever this guy was who helped this video go viral, the damage has been done. And the problem is, is that the truth is not going to spread as far as the lie did. But this is one particularly insidious lie that is going to get people hurt because of the amount of anger and vitriol, the rage that has been spread all across the Internet because of this lie. And I really need people to understand just how sick and twisted and demented the enemies of good faith are. Because they intentionally did this and this, this video, this lie, this propaganda can cause irrevocable harm.